CISOs are translators. CISOs translate the problems that the enterprise is having to the board. A successful CISO needs to have really good communication skills because cybersecurity is a company-wide problem, so they're going to have to deal with a lot of other business leaders across the company, head of marketing, the head of IT, uh, the general counsel, HR, the CEO, and now increasingly the board. So they need to be able to discuss things in executive terms and talk about their cybersecurity program and their goals to the, to the board of directors. If you're working with a business and you're running at them and going, this is terrible and this is terrible, you're going to overwhelm them pretty quickly and you're going to make them freak out. Uh, a pragmatic and successful CISO is going to say, the organization has this ability to adopt change, um, this ability to soak up you know, risks, and so let me work within those contexts to implement changes that are going to reduce the risk at a rate and a pace that the business is comfortable with while still doing a successful job of managing that risk for the organization. You have to sell you know, your wares, uh, even though it's internally, to the board, to the other executives, and then to the larger staff. And so the inability to do that, so you can be great at, at planning and strategy and security, but if you can't communicate effectively, you're not going to be a very effective leader. Because CISO needs to get the board's support and it's easy to get the board support for a quarter or a two when something big is happening. Like Ashley Madison gets hacked and companies freak and you get a quarter of support from the board. That's not what you want to have. You want to keep them up to date and you want to make them understand where the organization is, where the problems are coming from, and what to do. They, they understand business, but they also understand technology, and that's not as commonplace as you might think. In the CISOs that I've seen since becoming a CISO, they're sort of myopically focused on one or the other, right? They're good with technology, not good with business, or, or vice versa. So having someone that can sit sort of squarely in the middle and understand both pieces of the business really becomes a critical element. You have to have a good understanding of information security. There is no getting around that. You are a C-level executive and you're expected to be an expert in this field. It doesn't mean you need to be a deep technical expert, but you need to be able to understand and explain all of the, the concepts you're responsible for. So I'll say what makes a successful CISO would be a technical leader that's also a security visionary for the uh, enterprise. And so having the technical expertise to understand, well, can an attack actually come in and exploit our computer machines? And also that visionary to say, well, how can I secure the entire enterprise and work with the people to make sure that they know how to integrate and interface new applications that come on board. A successful CISO's job is not to make decisions about risk themselves, but instead to work with the business to help them understand what the risks are and lead them towards informed decisions.